station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. After almost 12 months, Scott Kelly and Mikhail Kornienko are ready to come home. They'll end their year in space on March 1st when the pair are set to land in Kazakhstan. We caught up with Scott, who was pretty excited about his second ride home in a Soyuz. It definitely gets your attention. It's so, you know, so much fun for me that I had said, uh, you know, after my last flight that if I, if I would have, you know, hated being in space for six months, I would have done it all o over again just for that last 20 minutes in the Soyuz. It's that, uh, it's that type of an experience. To see our live coverage times, head over to nasa.gov ntv. And the science won't stop just because Kelly and Kornienko were back on Earth. The return to gravity can be pretty jarring on the human body, and we need to be sure future explorers can perform basic tasks once they land. The field test study will have the crew members do a number of exercises right after they leave their Soyuz capsule, including standing from a seated position, walking over obstacles, even just being able to stand upright. What we learn will determine what we can expect future crews to be able to do immediately after landing at sea or on a distant planet like Mars. To wrap up our focus on African American History Month, I'm joined by NASA astronaut Jeanette Epps. Take it away, Jeanette. Thanks, Dan. This week we're highlighting a brilliant mind in astrophysics that literally changed the way we see our planet and our universe. George Crothers developed a new method of taking photographs in the ultraviolet spectrum. He was the principal inventor of an ultraviolet telescope that flew to the moon on Apollo 16, the first in a range of devices that would go on to give unique insight into stars, comets, galaxies, even the effects of pollution in our atmosphere. Today, the space station continues to advance the field of astrophysics with payloads like the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer in Calais, measuring cosmic rays and searching for evidence of dark matter. Thanks, Jeanette. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.